y'all. I've been up since 6 30 a.m. Getting it in. Like, seriously, I've been putting in work. So, I'm really, really proud of myself, first of all, because it is Monday. I'm feeling very fresh. Only thing, I woke up with these breakouts on my chin, and I don't even be breaking out on my chin. So, my body is trying to tell me something. I'm about to, like, cut out sugar or something. Um, I try not to eat that much sugar, but I think I've been doing it lately since, like, it's kind of like still quarantine. And I've been home, and, you know, I've been eating stuff that I shouldn't be eating, drinking stuff that I shouldn't be drinking. I'm about to go on a whole detox. So, on another note, like I said, I've been up since 6.30, getting it in. I have a meeting in an hour, um, so I'm going to need to, like, get ready for that soon. Um, I pretty much crossed off one thing off my to-do list today. Um, I'm doing the second thing now, and then my meeting is my third thing, so I think, let me look to do this today. Oh, I gotta check emails, but that's regular. Um, so yeah, I've been killing it today, y'all, on a Monday morning, feeling real good and refreshed. Like, I didn't even feel, like, extra tired today or nothing. Like, I really woke up at 6.30 and was like, I'm ready to go. Like, I was good. I wasn't too tired or nothing, so... I feel really, really good. Um, so, yeah. I mean, while I was doing the first thing, like, I, I had to um, make some designs. I don't know. I don't really like graphic design at all. Um, but it's, like, kind of part of what I do, in a sense. I swear, if I could hire a graphic designer to be like, look, this is what I need designs for, hook it up, I would. But I'm not at that stage in my career yet where I could just like be like boom sis but I swear I could if I would but at this point I'm just like I'm just glad that I woke up in a good mood like the sun is shining the birds was chirping the air was blowing on my skin because my window was open I'm just like yes the only thing is I broke out <laughs> I broke out on my chin and I think it's because I drank this slushy yesterday I'm not supposed to be drinking stuff like that. Like, people be thinking that I'm, like, dieting or whatever. I just need to be healthy because it shows up in my skin when I'm not being healthy. So, I'm about to, I'm going to drink some tea today, nothing but water, eat right. Like, I got to get back to me focus on my wellness. I'm going to work out today in the basement. I just need to feel good, you know what I'm saying? I just really need to feel good. I mean, I do feel good, but I want to keep feeling good. So, um, yeah, y'all, that is that. Um, I may give y'all a little preview into my uh, meeting today. But other than that, like, we killing it today. I'm feeling good. That was really good. Um, and then I talked about, like, what we could do as far as her, um, her goals and stuff are concerned. Um, I sent her the form that I sent you, but I did modify it a little bit. Because when you were telling me about the um, that question where it was like, what are your brand goals? Instead of, I did, I took some of the options away and I didn't make it required. Like some of the questions I took required off. Um, so I'm actually like, once we're done, I'll check to see if she replied to that. Um, but she seems really excited, so... But I'm not complaining. So 
that's one thing crossed off my list i have to make two facebook ads and check my email and i'm done for the day today is an easy monday mondays usually don't go like this so i don't know what's going on but today was real cute um i'm gonna take some notes for this course that i'm taking um i don't know if i want to tell y'all the name of the course but I was doing that this morning so I just have to because I pretty much I'm done with that wrap that up and take the last little bit of notes that I need um use that okay I have the sticky note for that yeah do two Facebook ads and send them off um check these emails and we done so today was real cute. Um, I'm gonna sweep my floor today again. I sweep like every day because it just be needing swept. I don't know why. Um, I want to wash clothes today, and I'm just really excited that today is a Monday, and I'm done early, pretty much. So let me get this stuff done so that I can do other things for my life. <laughs> but I'm so happy today. See what happens when you wake up early and you get stuff done. Like, had I waited till to have this meeting, I would have had to do all that I did this morning now. But it was all done this morning, so I'm good. My hair is cute. The meeting went well. I'm almost done with my to-do list. Good morning, you guys. So, I have a meeting in about another hour and a half. And I've been up since 6.30. Y'all know that's like my time to get up. And this time, I'm proud of myself because I woke up at 6.30 without my alarm clock. I forgot to set my alarm clock last night. So when I woke up, I looked at my phone. I'm like, oh my God, what time is it? And it was 6.31. I was like, oh, look at God. But um, I'm drinking this tea that's supposed to like boost your immune system. And it has spearmint in it. It's I think it's really good. If you know anything about me, you know that I love tea. Tea is like my jam. I don't know how somebody don't like tea like tea is life okay drink your herbs anyway um, yeah so I have a meeting today um, I was doing some work I need to export this file somehow my computer is like real ghetto so I don't know how I'm gonna do this um, I may have to use my sister's computer to do it. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Um, yeah, I got to export this file. And then I'm going to be uploading my resume to um, a couple of places. Yeah, because I want more money. So that's what I feel like I'm going to have to do. And um, especially now that um, school is about to start pretty much like next month. Um, in, the ne in the end of next month. Um, I'm only taking three classes this semester. And then I'll be done with my undergrad degree. Thank you, God. I looked at my grades from last semester. I got... Two A minuses, one B plus, and the other two classes were pass fail, so I passed both of those classes. Um, 
so I think I'm good on that. You know what I noticed? My grades have been getting better once I got into my concentration courses, like them general courses. But, like, I would get, like, Bs and Cs and stuff and like that, um, depending on the course, some A's here and there. But it's just, like, I went to college to study what I wanted to know. But you told me to wait two years to get to the stuff that I really want to know. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's just real ghetto. Like, your first two years of college is, like, high school 2.0. And then once you get into your concentration, it's like, okay, this is what you really wanted to know. We made you wait two years. Like, it's just, like... That's why, honestly, if I could do it all over again, I would have gone to community college for my first two years and then transferred over. But, like, when you were in high school, you don't see that. You don't see, like, you just so excited about, like, the college experience, um, living on campus, um, getting away from your high school, all that other stuff. Like, you're just excited about the, the outside stuff. Once you really get into it, you be looking back like, this is what people was trying to tell me. But anyway, it is what it is. I don't regret anything. Um, I actually, I should make a video about my, um, the year that I took off of school and like how that really changed my life in a sense like how it, it's a long story i should give like a story time about that but that's another video but it's just like girl that is tea for real that is tea that the first two years of a four-year college are like pointless but not so much really i mean it depends on the community college because i know people who did that they did the community college thing first and then they transferred to a bigger university and that their transition was not easy like i don't know what it is but they're like they were struggling their junior year like the workload um the environment uh social like these people were struggling and it could just be those people but I, that's what i found that those people were struggling especially with like the workload like they weren't used to doing um certain amounts of work for courses and i would be looking at them like sis this regular stuff like why are you struggling but then i was like it's because they came from a community college i don't know everybody got different um, stories, different experiences, etc. This is why I'm here to record. Uh, I wish I would have recorded like my whole um, college experience, but girl, y'all wouldn't have wanted to even see that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Now that, that's ghetto. But you know what? I have this meeting and I really don't know what we're going to be talking about today. <sighs> this meeting is with one of my managers that I have for the summer. Um, she's pretty much helping me out with what I want to do for my career. But we're going into deep. Yeah, I just got a message and I'm just like, why are you still talking to me? <laughs> but anyway, um... I might have to cut that out. Girl. I think men are seriously obsessed with me. Like. The more I try to be like. Go away. The more they be like. In my face. But anyway. <laughs> Girl. Okay. So no. Seriously. We're going to be talking about. Um, I really don't know. But that's what she's pretty much helping me with my career. I did have a, I do still have a mentor that was helping me with my career and things like that with me like ending with school and things like that. But like sometimes 
she's here sometimes she's not so it's like and that's no shade no tea it's just the god honest truth um and then with me moving here like i had to take a step back so i'm i had been wanting to reach out to her this week i just didn't find the time to do so um maybe by the end of this week i'll reach out to her but yeah um maybe i can edit some videos today i need to export a video but i need to figure out how i'm gonna do it i need a new computer like this is ghetto i want a new laptop i want a desktop for this office over here and i want a new phone like it's time to upgrade my life like let's go i need new money new clothes new shoes new bags new jewelry all that but in the meantime i'm just going to work as diligently as i can did i just say as i can't as i can because um work has to get done regardless my workload for today is not heavy it's very little to a little list today um, which I've already like started doing so I guess I've been up since 6 30 this morning and I started working at about 7 um, I didn't have breakfast yet I've just been drinking this tea so yeah y'all I'm just like um I gotta, I gotta do something. I'm gonna take y'all along with me on this journey. Um, Cause I'm about to change my life. Let this be known on camera that I'm about to change my life. This, I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not playing with myself. I'm not playing with nobody. I'm about to change my life. I'm fabulous. I'm getting to it. And that's what it is. I love my nails, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, keep watching. Tell your friends, your neighbors, and things like that. Um, because you are about to witness magic along this journey. So, bye, guys.